CFU stands for Colony Forming Units, which is the way to quantify the number of live bacteria in a given product. It is one of the most important topics we discuss with our customers who are developing new probiotic products. The definition of probiotics, stated by the World Health Organization in 2001, is live microorganisms which, when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit on the host. Therefore, if you are going to use the word probiotics, then the product should, per definition, have the number of bacteria, the CFU, which has been found to be effective in the host. In addition, at least one study should have been conducted with the demographic population for whom the product is intended. There is no evidence that a higher dose than what has been clinically shown to be effective is more efficacious. There are several products on the market today with high CFU counts, which often contain multiple strains. These products may be effective, However, the strains in the formulation of the product itself has not always been tested in clinical studies. To ensure the effectiveness of your product, it is preferable to choose a single strain or a combination of strains, which have been clinically tested to be compatible or even to enhance each other's effect at a clinically tested CFU dosage. A product with a very high CFU count may logically seem to be better or improved, but this may not be an accurate evaluation. Before developing a new probiotic product and deciding which strains and CFU potency, you should first ask yourself if you want the product to come with clinical efficacy. If your goal is to have a clinically effective probiotic product, then you must carefully select the best strains suited for the health condition and demographic population you are targeting. Repetitive clinical studies utilizing the same strain, same CFU dosage and same indication are usually the preferred option to ensure the consumer can trust the product. The lesson to be learned here is when it comes to probiotic supplements, the more the merrier is not an accurate description. Probiotic strains are usually sold from the manufacturer or supplier either as finished products or as bulk powder. The bulk powder can have different concentrations of bacteria, meaning that 200 mg of one strain is not equal to 200 mg of another strain. Probiotics should always be measured by CFU potency, which accurately provides the number of live bacteria. In 200 mg of powder, you could have 100 billion CFU. 10 billion CFU, 1 billion CFU, or potentially no CFU at all, if the probiotics have not been manufactured or stored properly. If you are interested in learning more about probiotics, CFU counts, or anything else concerning the microbiome, please feel free to reach out.